Hello. Hi, Hi Alice. Hi, Eleanor. Come on in. So, we are going to be just there. Okay. Shall we? Do you want to take a little step backwards? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Okay. I'm going to sit just here in front of you. Mm -hmm. Now, shall we stretch up? Nice and tall, wake our bodies up. Aww. Stretch up. How do you find singing? I really, really enjoy it and I think it's really fun and I do it everywhere in the house. <laughs> I do it in the bathroom, I do it while I'm in the shower, in the bath, everywhere. So, shall we get ourselves a little bit more warmed up yeah. today? Shall we go see? Today, Ellen is going to have her regular singing lesson yeah. with Alice and she's also going to be introduced to Braille music. She's once had a go at it but now she's going to learn a bit more systematically about how to write down the notes. Sing. Sing. Helena has a brain tumour that's pressing on her optic nerves and that's prevented the messages that her eye send to the back of the brain getting there. So she only has a tiny bit of vision hands left. have gone really not tight. OK, so I want you to relax your hands for me, keep them nice and relaxed, OK? Off we go. Alice has a condition called stargaz, which is when the, her central vision isn't working anymore. So she can see out the sides of her eyes, but she can't see directly at music or people's faces. Remember, our voice will change here. Sing. Now, whilst mine and Eleanor's visual impairments are very different, it certainly gives me an understanding. I didn't have a visual impairment as a child, so I learnt differently, and now it's made me think about how I could help Eleanor to be able to experience music just the same as everybody else. Really, it's not a huge change to my normal lesson. Sing. Good. Sing. Good. Now, we're going to have a little think about the pitch now. What does pitch mean, Eleanor? Um. New, but I've forgotten. That's okay. Yep. We're thinking about how high or how yes. low. low. Excellent. How high or how, how low the pitches are in this song, okay? Yep. Now, we're going to go to the wall for this, so it's a little bit okay. away from you. So we can just step, keep going. And then I want you to think about whether it goes up or down, okay? You might want to start a little bit lower so that you don't have to reach too high, okay? I think you might do really well at this. <laughs> Let's have a go. So we'll start um... here. Try that. Bees putting home. Good girl. Have a listen to the next line. Bees putting home. Good girl. Have a listen to the next line. What Alice is doing here is to help Eleanor understand the highs and the lows of music by moving her hand in space. And because Eleanor can't see her hand, she's helping her locate that in a concrete way by touching the wall. Listen to the final line. Nine days old. Fantastic. Really good job. <laughs> now, should we come back into this space over here? Yeah. So I'll sing a line. Can you sing it back to me? Yeah. Once a man fell in the well. Once a man fell in the well. Good girl. Really, really nice. Now, can we use our arms like we did last week with that big painting? Yeah motion, I want us to use lots of energy through that so that we keep our energy okay. up all the way through the phrase. Off you go. Once a man fell in the world. So, Excuse let's try those again once more, Ellen, if you don't mind. We yeah, can do that big fine. motion. Yeah, okay. yeah that'd be yeah. great. Remember if you can show us the yeah. big movement. That's it. That's it. And we did the big hand. And you go all, this is one big smooth motion. It's really great having Eleanor's mum, Kelly, to help. Because sometimes Eleanor can't see Alice and Alice can't necessarily see what Eleanor's doing. And it's lovely the way that Kelly just steps in and shows Eleanor what Alice means. Like my arm's a big paintbrush almost. Yes, I remember what you said it was last week. You said it was like a rainbow. Yeah, painting do you remember? a rainbow yeah. almost. You're painting a big rainbow in the air, OK? So you yeah. can do that on every single phrase for me, OK? So nice and confidently. Off you go. Once a man fell in the well. Splish, splash, splosh, he sounded. If he had not fallen in, he would not have drowned it. Good. There's so much to think about, isn't there? <laughs> so much to think about. Shall we go on to the next song? 
<laughs> okay, so we're going to look at pitch today, and yep. the reason for that yep. is because with Braille, yep. the top four dots just give you the pitch, okay. and the bottom two yep. are for the value, like semi brief quavers. Okay. So it gets a bit confusing if we try and do yeah. both at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was a secondary school teacher for 16 years, um, teaching modern foreign languages, both uh, Spanish and French up to A-level. So when I learned Braille music, I treated it like another language. And it's just so much repetition. But eventually, it kind of gets stuck in your head. This is the confusing thing. A C is written like a D. And it's because the French start off with the DO, and they go from there. Okay, so it's almost like it's always one letter higher. One letter up. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So in front of you, there's my little braille version for you. So the first letter it's a C. So the pitch C. Mm -hmm. So it's a C note. Go on. Can you read up next? Quaver is D. Yes. Exactly. So the normal sign for a D is actually a C in music. Okay. Right, okay. So do you want to read the next one out? D, quaver is E, okay. Yeah, you're getting the pattern. And then E, quaver is F. Good. Okay. F, quaver is G. Yeah. yeah. G, quaver is H. Okay. And what do you think the A is going to be before you read it? B. No. Yeah. What's after H? Oh. I. I. So A, go on. Quaver is I. Yeah, there we go. B, so quaver is J. Okay, that's, okay, this is where it changes a little that's bit. That's it, yes. Okay, so it doesn't double back, it just carries on. Well, I'm certainly no musician, but I think I knew how to go about learning it. Because Braille is pattern recognition, I suppose, much like an alphabet. So once you start recognising the patterns, you kind of build up speed. That's it. So we're just going to have a little practice here. And if you need to look back up to the Braille reference, you can do so, OK? OK, D is E. One down, because this is the music, OK? So we've got to go okay. down. So... What comes before that? Oh, D... See, this is where it's C. tricky. Yes, OK, so C. E would be D. D. F would be E. E. G would be F. Good. H would be G. Yeah. I would be H. No. Not H. A. A. Yes. There we go. J would be B. Good. When I did a survey about sort of Braille music access, it was very clear that a lot of people didn't know where to start and didn't feel they had the skills. And it was clear that so many of these students were missing out on something which they were really passionate about. So the lesson plans stem from my own idiot's guide to explain it to myself, which anybody, even if they haven't got any experience of braille music, can pick up and just work through systematically with a student. And they can both learn at the same time. So we just learned how to read C. Shall we have a look at how that's going to look? Yep. On there. So how are you going to borrow a C? Be, how are we going to borrow one? Or, well, no, D. There we go. D. Yes. There we go. That's it. OK. So the next one is just one note up. Um, D. D. So what She's we... making huge progress in such a short space of time. And by breaking it down to this kind of level, students are able to feel they are successful and it helps them engage that bit more. And how many of those do you think there are? Have a listen. Three? Three, good. So we need two more H's. Yeah. There good. we go. So we've written the whole first line. We've got... Once a man fell in the well. Excellent. Yeah. So then the next line would be yeah. exactly the same, so you could yeah. do the second line. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. There you go, you've written two lines of it. Yay!
What Brown Music will give Eleanor is independence. It means she'll be an independent learner because she'll be able to get a Braille score and read it for herself rather than relying on someone else to do that. It'll be an emancipation for her. So let's go from Once a Man. Once a man fell in the well Splish, splash, splosh, he sounded. Fantastic. Should we keep going? Yeah. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> 